Good morning. I was reminded recently of John R. W. Stott. He was an Anglican priest and an author who was very influential in my early Christian uh, walk. I learned so much about the gospel from him. He was known to start every day with this prayer. It would go like this. Heavenly Father, I pray that this day I may live in your presence and please you more and more. Lord Jesus, I pray that this day I may take up my cross and follow you. Holy Spirit, I pray that this day you will fill me with yourself and cause your fruit to ripen in my life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Well, those who know John Stott personally would say that he was the most Christ-like person they knew. The fruit of the Spirit literally did ripen in his life, and he made sure that he focused his attention upon God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and then sought to live that out each and every day. Well, the first of the fruit of the Spirit is love. That comes to my mind this weekend because on February 14th, we celebrate Valentine's Day. It is a day when we share those words of love with our beloved, and we pray that as Christians, we would share those words of love with others in our actions as well as our words. I was reminded of the teaching of Pastor Len Evans, one of the most influential uh, teachers in my early Christian walk, and he had what he called the theology of the love commandment, centered in the new commandment of Jesus, found in John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. Listen to this new commandment of Jesus. A new command I give unto you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this will everyone know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Well, I love that verse because it shows that the love that we have for one another is to be modeled on the love that Jesus has for us. It's not just a sentimental kind of love. It is a, a, a self-sacrificing kind of love based upon the love Jesus has for us. And when other people see that, when they see that kind of love shared among Christians, they're drawn to Jesus and drawn to the fellowship of Christians, and they want to be a part of that which Jesus offers in that new commandment, lived out among his disciples. Well, I think that's an appropriate verse for us to think about this weekend. I do want to mention that on Sunday, we have the privilege of having Reverend Edgar Brady come. He's the superintendent of the Western Reserve District. He's going to bring the message to us on Sunday morning from Matthew chapter 26, where Jesus is praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. You may remember that he says, Father, may this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. The title of Reverend Brady's uh, message uh, is this. Is there no other way? And it's a question that is a difficult question for us because we would always want to find an easier way. But with Jesus, we need to say, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. I also want to mention to you that on Wednesday, it will be Ash Wednesday. And we'll have the opportunity to come together for worship, 7 p.m. on February 17th. That's Ash Wednesday. It's going to be a unique service as we're going to be uh, thinking about and visualizing God as the potter, that we are the clay. And as we think about that, may we trust that uh, we will be shaped and formed and molded to be uh, as God wants us to be. And that would be formed to be Christ-like, to, to be made in the image of Christ, and to have that love of Christ known and seen and experienced within each of us. Well, with that in mind, I'd like to uh, draw us to, to a close with this prayer. It's a prayer that was written for Transfiguration Sunday, when God says to Jesus, This is my Son to be loved. Listen to Him. Follow Him. Let's pray. Holy God, mighty and immortal, you are beyond our knowing, yet we see your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, 
whose com compassion illumines the world. Transform us into the likeness of the love of Christ, who renewed our humanity so that we may share in his divinity. The same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you this weekend, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Amen.